very favorite holidays I love celebrating, and I don't know if you guys are love celebrating, is Halloween. And honestly, there's a, a lot of things that you guys can appreciate about Halloween. You know, we got mad candy, we get to ding dong ditch, we get to throw eggs at your teacher who you never f Baba boo. You know, there's a lot of things that honestly you should appreciate. You you got the parties for you normies. I don't know how I'm be doing that like that. You know, Loki, your boy used to be switching out the actual liquor with apple juice, so so your boy would be cool. I'm sorry, I don't like drinking. I think it tastes like freaking retro piss. I don't it tastes gross. What I got planned for you guys is that we're just gonna be going over a few recommendations of anime that you guys can go and check out if you wanna go and watch your pants or if you just wanna go and appreciate something that's kind of this reminiscent of the vibes of Halloween. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of game on a few titles that you guys should definitely go and check out if you haven't seen it and we're just gonna just go over them and hopefully you guys will like it. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please go and do me a massive favor and slap that like button. Let's go hit our like goal of 20 likes. Cause honestly, you guys wanna smash the last videos i really do appreciate you guys giving me some time a day and also don't forget to subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you guys know whenever i post a video so enough with the plugging and also plug the discord server if you guys want to go and chat it out please so without all the plugging let's just hop straight into the video now this title right here is for my cultured fellas i'm telling you right now i'm gonna be very 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 disappointing for a lot of you cultured men who doesn't know this god s tier title so the anime that we're going to be talking about for today right now and this anime is called high school of the dead now this anime i'm putting you guys on game is s tier now it's not only s tier because of the fan service there's a lot more things that kind of, that's in the anime that i honestly personally enjoy we have basically the main protagonist which is this guy who honestly is a Baba boy. savage like i'm not gonna lie I, I don't be touching women like this but then yo the first episode that you just see him go bounce into a classroom grab his chick and, and she was low she was low-key like this she was like oh my god what are you doing like what the hell and she was basically complaining and then the boy was just like Hey man, <laughs> I don't put my hands on girls, but I'm not gonna lie, but he's low key a savage. He went, grabbed his best friend, grabbed his main chick, and then basically ran so that he can go and just save this apocalyptic setting of an anime. For what it is, High School of the Dead, it, it, it pretty much tells you what it's about. It's about zombies. All right, stop talking. Yo, okay, so guys, I'm sorry, you just had to chime in real quick. Now, a scene like this is what makes me so scared of women. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you guys go and judge this scene on your own, and then you just let me know what you feel about it. Because honestly, yo, in this setting, I kind of feel the girl at the top, but then, hey, let me stop explaining. I'm just gonna go let you guys watch this thing. Pure savagery. We should be okay if we run together, Miss Yuzu. Of course we will, because you have her BFS. that anime man Dude, honestly it's every man for himself at the same time it's like yo you'll get what's coming for you so like that's another thing that really got me into this goddamn anime now let's get back to this other guy talking his stuff like a zombie virus was spreading and then these guys these three people were just trying to go and survive it and low-key F's in the chat for my boy, but he only had a little bit of screen time. His best friend went and got bit, and then the, the dude had to do something where, honestly, what I really do appreciate is that he's, he's not that type of main protagonist who's just like, oh my God, I don't know, I can't do it. Like, dude, buddy got bit by the zombie. Now, in my sense for when you get bit by a zombie is that you're fucked. Like, <laughs> If you get bit by a zombie, you f Bubba. I'm sorry. Like, I know it might be a family member, my sister. Like, I'm pretty sure my sister would understand what I have to do if you get bit by a zombie. Like, you know, there's no cure. There's nothing we can do. You got five minutes. So, it's either that you can let her wait that five minutes, yeah. or you can... It's her choice, but then I'm, I'm just like, you ain't coming with me, though. So, the main protagonist, Loki, just goes, and I'm making light of the situation, but he just goes and hit his buddy like a baseball bat, and, and he's just dead, and just went off with the chick, and just, 
I don't know, randomly a whole freaking clan just started with him and a, a few other characters for in the show and it just worked. Look, if you guys are looking for a super in-depth thing about this video, that's not really what's gonna happen here. If you guys already know the way I do things, I really don't like reading things. I'm just kind of just going off to the dome with them. So please give me a chance. Basically, the, the, they, they just go and form a whole like family with the people that they picked up on the side of the road. You know, we got the, the, the pink super smart girl. We got the fat guy that's actually really cool. Like, come on, this guy is crazy. I read he, he builds guns and he has A1 aim. I would love to have him on a COD party, not gonna lie. What's his KD? And we got the teacher for the culture. We have a lot, we have a lot that's presented to us. It has a great mix between action, romance, harem, Ichi, basically everything that you need to go and quench your otaku needs. So definitely go and check this title out because I'm telling you it's A1 banger material. I'm gonna give you guys a hint for the second title that I'm talking about. So you guys let me know if you guys know what this anime that I'm gonna be talking about is about. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna be talking about Tokyo Ghoul. Now I feel really strongly about this one guys, cause honestly, you know, there's multiple different types of seasons of Tokyo Ghoul, but what I wanted to go and put the most heat on is Tokyo Ghoul season one. Season one was, to me, was by far S tier as hell. Like, the rest of it, I don't know what the hell they were doing, but I at least want to give light to one of my favorite seasons of Tokyo Ghoul, which was definitely season one. <laughs> Now here, boys and girls, we have Ken Kaneki, the most litest OP character on the last episode. Honestly, I'm not really good at remembering main protagonist titles. I watch a lot of anime, but I don't really remember a lot of the protagonist's names, but Ken Kaneki had a really big implementation into my life because I just love the overall growth and development that he has as a character. It was just really, really great. So we start off with Ken Kaneki coming from a poffy shop, just hanging out with his buddy. He's reading a book, you know, acting all super sophisticated and everything. But then basically what happened that was really cool or really different, this girl Toka was in his sights and then you know she was reciprocating the same energy of like wanting to be with my boy they went walking and you know they're basically talking about books and everything basically Toka did her damn research on my boy and then they go and they get talking Kaneki thinks he's about to get some playtime and then basically Toka just goes straight for the KO and goes with my boy's neck <laughs> So in this world of Tokyo Ghoul, we have these things called ghoul. But, but Caleb Sama, what, what's a, what's a ghoul? All right, I'll explain it. Appreciate you, my guy, but I won't explain it. Future Caleb, take over. Now why do I always have to explain everything for your ass? I can't even do some damn research. Read a book, nigga. So basically, ghouls are carnivorous, cannibalistic, humanoid species that are only able to eat flesh and other ghouls. They also are close to humans as possible, and they normally display the same attributes and the same physical appearance and intelligence. The only thing that's different is the innards and also the massive strength and also the jerk with the tails. You're welcome. So he's just running for his goddamn life, but he's taken off. But then Toka easily catches him, and then now he's basically screwed. But then what, what really happens that, that's kind of different is that randomly, these pillars just comes and then destroys Toka, I know, plot. So basically what happened after Kaneki came back from the hospital after he basically was about to be a whole snack was that dude was low-key hungry. He was like, yo, I need something to eat. But then the hospital food didn't really hit for him. So he was like, oh, let me just go into the fridge and see low-key if there's something I can eat. Went into the fridge, tried to eat anything. He threw it up. He just couldn't eat it. And the reason why he couldn't eat it was that dude converted into a ghoul. So ghouls, in, in essence, is that people are humans that can't eat any type of human food. If they eat it, it takes like so Kaneki was basically in, in a pillar in his life where he just can't eat humans and now humans are tasty and there was basically so much psychological differentness in this anime that I had to recommend it for you guys for Halloween it's because that's what we're looking for we're looking for psychological crazy cool mask the whole entire year that I seen Tokyo Ghoul I was obsessed with Ken Kaneki's mask bro that thing was hot dude Loki at the end of the show gets kidnapped 
and becomes a magical super duper badass. He was getting tortured by this per this character named Jason who literally loved pulling his toes out because a ghoul's power is that they can actually regenerate themselves, which is super duper dope. But in essence of getting tortured, where you're getting your toes, hands, fingers, everything pulled out, it's not that dope. Kaneki, honestly, in his mind, he just physically snapped and just came crazy with the heat, with the fire. It was amazing. He came crazy and it really summed up the whole season. I'm being super broad again because I want you guys to go and watch it. But leading up to the last few episodes, you guys are going to love this anime. Not gonna lie, guys, my lights keep on dying, so I guess this this means that my Baba just wants me to wrap it up. So we definitely gotta wrap it up with a bang. So the last and definitely not least title that I got for you guys that I want to recommend is an anime that I also really love because you know this is for the people for the culture is Razuro plus Vampire. Let's give Razuro Vampire a round of applause. <laughs> By the way, my name is Baba Boo. Hey, me, bro. Baba Boo. But that's okay. So support your boy on Patreon in case your boy gets kicked out because you know I'll be doing the most for you guys. Thank you. But Razuro Plus Vampire is definitely on my list, not only because of the overall fan service, but nope, just for the fan service. There's not really anything that crazy about this anime. You know, it has your normal cliches of like getting knocked over and the, and the lucky pervert thing in anime. And we have a really weak Bubba. MC, I'm not gonna lie. We got a really weak main character, but that's okay because we're not there for the main character. Are we boys? We're not. We're there for all the other secondary characters in which are really, really, really S tier. We're there for them, except for the witch girl. Cause I don't know, like she Loki might be a case. Huh? It might be a case, so like, I don't know, F's in the chat. No, dead, it's dead. <laughs> we're not there for the witch. Unless she's a lowly girl, but I don't know. Nope, we're not there for her. Yeah, so basically what's in it is, is a whole bunch of battles in which basically the main character takes off the girls' is rosary, rosary, Ros rosary. Damn, should have never Baba left school. So basically what happened in the anime was that the MC just comes into a school, which is a monster school. Isn't it appropriate for what we're talking about today? Yeah, he comes to a monster school, which his parents didn't even, I don't know how his parents didn't do a background check to find out if the school was a normal school or a monster school. But weirdly enough, they didn't know that they were sending their human son to a monster school. And then the boy just pulls up super depressed and scared that he's going to get eaten. But then he gets a lucky encounter with the girl on the bicycle in which the lucky person it goes and gets ignited they fall on the floor in a really questionable way but still culture she just gets super close to him she smells him up and stuff and boys but he's low-key feeling it he's feeling it and then basically she goes and nips him on the neck and whatever and then Baba runs away just like that cliche where people have bread in their mouth and start running and get knocked Brutality. over so she just goes and just knocks him over with a bicycle <laughs> Knocks him over with a bicycle, sucks on his neck or smells him or something, and then goddamn runs away. And I'm telling you, I was very intrigued after that happened. So after that kind of happened, he got integrated into the school and stuff. We're just going to kind of speed around to like the parts that I really like. So then he gets introduced into the school, gets into a battle, but then in the battle, he is complete and other useless. He's useless as Baba Boo. He looks like a Baba Boy. I didn't even have to use a sound effect because I already know what the Baba I was about to say right there, but he looked like a fucking bitch. Girl comes and then basically saves him by him pulling on the rosary that is holding her enchantedly cool powers, which is holding an S tier babe, which is super duper. She goes and beats down on the enemies and then basically goes back to normal to the other girl who isn't as bad, but then I'm really messing with this chick right here. It's mainly that for the duration of the anime. You know, he goes and then they rank up, get more characters. Now we have the girl with the big tits and then we have the small girl and then we have the ice chick. And it's super good because as you're going along, you're meeting more and more characters and then you're just seeing more monsters and then he's still being useless. But then on the last episode, they teased us a little bit by kind of giving us a little taste of him having some type of supernatural powers that he gets from getting vampire blood into his body but then 
not trying to spoil, but I'm trying to spoil season two. He basically did the same thing on the last episode and there was nothing there. There was nothing there. He only gets like a, f a few frames of cool animation and then he goes back to a basic ass. Baba boo. But this anime basically just gives off the, the whole feeling of Halloween, not only because of the bats and all the mystical dangerous creatures, but this gives it gives it off just because of the overall essence of the anime. So definitely go and give Rosero plus Vampire a chance if you guys have not seen it. Because I'm telling you, this is definitely a title that you guys want to go check out. A hundred thousand million bajillion trillion dillion gajillion dillion million percent. Check it out. And that ends today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy the video, please go and help your boy up by smacking that like button. Let's go and get our like go up to 20 likes. And also if you guys want to talk anime, weep, or anything, then go please hit up the Discord server. You guys already know I was going to plug this. So please go and check out the Patreon if you guys want to go and check out some more things that your boy be doing. Because like, honestly, I give you guys a little bit of extra goodies just because you guys want to support your boy. And I really appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm talking about you, us. Thank you so much for supporting. I love you. No homo. I love you though. So thank you guys for watching the video again. And also, please do me a favor by hitting subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you guys know whenever I drop a video. We're definitely going to have a lot of things in store for you guys on this channel. So thank you guys for watching the video again. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.